4.3 um, balance shaft timing gear insulation. Uh, 350 is pretty much the same thing. This cylinder here is number one. You're going to want on top dead center. Make it easy to start. You see the piston up to the top. I'm not going to get into it. There you go. You see it's the top. This is the balance shaft. It's got a mark there. Line it up with the mark up here. And now, and then that's the dowel pin where that goes. And behind here is the camshaft retaining plate with those two bolts. Keeps the camshaft from walking out. Line these two gears up. And just pretty much get the whole dots. I'm not close enough to see it. There you go. And you can move them a little bit. Lower gear has a mark there. Get it close to the top dead center as you can get it. And then the bottom, the middle gear has a spot here. You can only get it on one way because there's only a mark on one side. This side pushes out because you want it away from the other gear. Get it close. Get the teeth close. And these are going to go right over there. The bolts are going to go right through. And you want to get the holes lining up, the gears lining up. As the gears are lined up, you're okay. So that's pretty much it. I pause the video while I finish this. That's about as close as you're going to get it. Everything's dead, top dead center. And this being up there, this being there. I put a little Loctite on the bolts, and then I'll torque them down in a minute. I'm going to have to use this, hold that to do that, or the rear to tighten it. And that is how you do a time chain and gears. You might always replace all the parts. These, I didn't see nothing wrong with them. Um, and then that's it to do a timing chain on a 4.3. Like I said, and this is the wide chain which is they have a skinny version i don't like so that is all it is tighten these down to torque these are definitely no more than 45 24 i'll have to post it on there so hope this helps you explains it a little bit better